All right, Care team picked up a huge road win in Conference USA play. Going to UTEP, you lost your voice, I lost more hair. Uh, just incredible effort all the way around, uh, able to come into an environment like this, a traditional program that's strong in the league. Just how, how great of a feeling is this? Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm almost speechless of just how proud I am of our team. I mean, uh, they came out here and just had an unbelievable will to win and focus and drive that I have not seen in us this year. Um, the credit goes to our players. Uh, they wanted this so bad. Uh, they executed the game plan great. We frustrated them. Uh, offensively, we were absolutely tremendous. Uh, Gabby Tyler, Hillary Sigmund, those two just carried us, just had incredible nights to shoot the ball in the second half, 70%, 62% for the game. Um, we're just amazing. Um, you know, I'm quick to tell our players when, you know, they make mistakes that cause us to, to, to lose a game. This go credit goes all to them. They won this together as a team uh, with some brilliant performances. Uh, just superb. You've touched on it already, but Hillary Sigmund puts up a career high 32 points. Gabby Tyler with a double double, 22 and 12. But overall, it was the team as a whole, bench uh, getting everybody involved, getting loud uh, when needed. And just just talk about everybody coming together for a win like this. Yeah, well, obviously, like I said, I mean, Hillary and Gabby just had unbelievable nights. And the, the fun part about it was to watch the team just want to feed them. Uh, they were happy for them. They were cheering for them. The bench was up. I mean, we got warned, I can't tell you how many times, by the officials. And so just, you know, our team has just been working towards coming outside themselves and being about Charlotte. And that's what it was tonight. We had a shortened rotation. That was not by design. Obviously, that was based on the fact that we had some players having some careers night, and we were happy for each other. And that's what true teams do, and that's why we were able to win. Statement win for the program early in the conference season makes that long flight home tomorrow a lot easier. Um, and then get to come back to El Paso in a couple months for the conference tournament. Um, unlike last year when we played St. Joe's, um, one up there, then struggling in the tournament, uh, going back. Hope for not a repeat performance of that. But you did mention St. Joe's in your pregame talk, uh, talking about a signature win last year and hoping to get the repeat this year. Just touch on that. Yeah, you know, I thought I really did. I compared this game to our, our, our win at St. Uh, St. Um, Joe's last year and that it was just going to be a tough battle. I mean, a lot of teams don't come in here and win. And, uh, you know, obviously with UTEP coming off the loss, we knew they were going to be extremely hungry, and it was going to come down to a will. Um, certainly game plan was going to matter, execution was going to matter, but we, I told our players we would have to have an incredible will to win, just like we did a year ago at, at, St. Jo at, at St. Joe's. We did the same thing tonight. Our will was so strong um, that we were not going to be denied no matter what happened. That was amazing. Now, long flight home tomorrow, but uh, get two home games this week, Tulane and Rice. Um, this league never lets up in terms of quality opponents. Um, I know you haven't looked too far in advance looking at those two opponents, but how nice would it be back in front of the Niner Nation where 49ers are 6-2 this year? Yeah, I can't wait to get back to Charlotte. It's been a long road trip. We're excited to call, come home. And obviously, you know, our job now is to try to protect our home court, so we're going to do everything we can this week to uh, continue to do that. All right, Kara, congratulations on the big win tonight. Safe travels tomorrow, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.